welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, the Doctor of Common Sense. We've all heard about it, but I'm going to be honest with you. This so-called indictment, this junk indictment that if this indictment was legitimate, don't you think that Bob Mueller and that criminal gang would have done something to prosecute him? They looked at all this information, spent two years on it. And they didn't prosecute him for this particular incident. As a matter of fact, when Stormy Daniels tried to bring up some junk lawsuit, it was thrown out of court and she was ordered to pay $300,000 for bringing this frivolous lawsuit to court. But Alvin Braggs is insisting on making up laws and now he's even threatening. They're saying, hold on, Trump, and don't give him a bond. I've, 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 I'm clear now. Ron DeSanto's silence and these phony Never Trump of silence makes it where the only candidate that I will support for 2024 now is Donald Trump. I don't give a damn if you tell me the country's going to be destroyed. The country's already destroyed. The hell is you talking about? When you allow somebody to investigate a man for eight years, try to bring up every damn charge to go look at everything he's ever done while ignoring what Joe Biden and his family has done for years, I say that is all BS. Ron DeSantos is silent, just like Ron DeSantos was silent on the Mar-a-Lago event. I'm going to keep bringing this up. Makes me a little suspicious of Ron DeSantos thinking that he actually knew what they were going to do. Don't get sanctimonious on me now, Ron DeSantis. You want to pick and choose so you can look good. Yeah, you're a good governor in Florida. Don't mean you're a good damn president, you clown you. Silence to me when evil is being done means you're on their side. Period. End of discussion. I don't care who likes it. Whenever those who call themselves righteous, whenever those who call themselves good are silent, when ungodly people are running rampant in this country, making up laws, and isn't it a little suspicious that one day after the charges have been brought, or at least the accusation and evidence have been presented that Joe Biden and his family was taking more payments from China, all of a sudden this corrupt piece of trash named Alvin Bag Braggs, you piece of trash, you. I bet you any kind of money he ain't nothing but an affirmative action kind of hire down there in Manhattan, you fat clown, you with the St. Bernard head. But isn't it funny? Isn't it a little suspicious that Ron DeSantos is silent? Don't tell me how righteous you are. Get off the cross, clown. We need the wood to do something else with it. Whenever you try to pretend like you're so holy and righteous, but you stay silent on certain situations, I'm suspect on you. This is the reason I had such disdain for Tucker Carlson after he and Fox News was quiet on what Hunter Biden and Joe Biden was doing before the election. You can't regain my trust now. And as long as Ron DeSantos is quiet on this incident, you know what? I don't even care if you speak on it now because you waited too damn long if you ask me. Silence to me it means that you're with my enemy. And so, is there a reason that these people have been going after Donald Trump this many years, this hard? They didn't, go, they didn't go after George Bush like this, didn't go after Dick Cheney like this. They damn sure didn't go after Barack Obama, and they are refusing to prosecute Joe Biden with mounds of evidence. And you want me to ignore and support these kind of people, and you want me to ignore the ones who are ignoring what they're doing. Lawless is rampant in this country. It is ungodly for what these people have done. And for these demons known as Democrats to be so giddy behind this, these are the same folks ignored all the stuff. Joe, We got all the goods on Joe Biden. Let's be clear. We got all the goods to prove what the Biden clan has done, the bribes and kick kickbacks they've taken. High treason. You can go back to Bill Clinton. I mean, he was selling secrets to the Chinese government, and nobody did anything about that. So I'm suspicious of Ron DeSantos. I'm suspicious. See, I never had much respect for Mitch McConnell. Never had much respect for Lindsey Graham. Never had much respect for Mitt Romney. But now, DeSantos. Hmm. 
I see now. Yeah, I can see clearly now. The fog is gone. I can see all the corruption in the air. See, I see what they're doing now. There is a reason that they want to shut up certain people. The reason that they, the only reason they can be going after Donald Trump this strongly is because he knows something and they are afraid that he's going to reveal something when he gets back in. I've never seen a politician get attacked like this. Never. In all my life, I've never seen them for eight straight years. Even when a man leaves office, they won't leave him the hell alone. There's a reason behind this. Ron DeSantos, you're not going to be president, son. You're not going to be president. You can kissy kissy ass to the, the, the phony uh, Republican, the rhino Republicans, Republican in name only. You can you can kiss up to him all you want to. I don't care who you got backing you. God is not pleased. Whenever evil people do something and you ignore it, just like when a child molests to do something and you ignore it, you are culpable to the crime as far as I'm concerned. So they say we need to prosecute Donald Trump for a payment that a court threw out already because it was a junk uh, 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 case. Bob Mueller spent almost two years investigating Donald Trump. He didn't even pursue this. Even corrupt Bob Mueller and that illegal team of Trump-hating lawyers didn't even pursue this for St. Bernard Head by the name of Alvin Bragg. He sent out saying, because Donald Trump said we should protest. He said that's a threat. There's something wrong with these demons. I told you, they have no conscience. There's no need you trying to be nice with demons. They have no conscience. No need you trying to be make friends with wild animals. These are wild animals. They are brute beasts. They don't know what right and wrong is. They've been completely gave, given over to a reprobate mind. Only a reprobate mind could see what Joe Biden has done, all the criminal activities done, what Barack Obama has done, all the criminal activities, which was ignored. And then you're telling me that this is a felony charge for somebody to be held with no bond. A former president. Are you kidding me? Can't make up this kind of corruption. Demons. The devil never wins. He already knows what his end is. You can team up with him, too, because his end is a a hot fiery furnace. You can have a, a admission also into this hot fiery furnace. Teaming up with those who are worshiping the devils will get you one thing in return. I don't care what school you went to. I don't care how much money you got. I don't care how much power you got. I don't care who you are, devil. There is a God in heaven. And when you do unjust things continuously and you brag about your unjust actions, Acting as if yourself, nobody's above the law. Why is Barack Obama and Nancy Pelosi and Joseph Biden not in prison then? Why is it that when when uh, the former FBI director, when he lied on the oath, when he mishandled class classified information, why is he not in jail? When Hillary Clinton destroyed evidence after she was subpoenaed, why is she not in jail? For mishandling classified information. Why is Hillary not in jail? Why is Eric Holder not in jail? For allowing guns to be walked over to the notorious drug cartel of Mexico. Somebody got some splaining to do, damn it. I need to know why these people are not in jail since nobody is above the law. What they're saying is that nobody who speaks truth is above the law. These people will try to destroy any life. Just go through the, the list of people who they've tried to destroy. Anytime somebody starts revealing facts and truth about these people, they will destroy you. And I suppose to believe they had nothing to do with the assassination of JFK. I suppose to believe that these people are honest. These people who did coup d'etat after coup d'etat from the CIA, I suppose to believe that was honest. I suppose to believe the same organization that was founded technically by J. Edgar Hoover, who was spying on Dr. King and blackmailing everybody else, I suppose to believe now that this organization now is not corrupt. I won't believe it. The evidence doesn't lie. I'm just following the science and the science says you're making up charges in your lane while ignoring all the laws that the Biden clan has broken. So I ask you, anybody who say that they love facts and nobody's above the law, Please answer me why Joe Biden and Hunter Biden, the crackhead, is not in jail. They haven't even been indicted. 
Explain that to me, how you allowed to allow guns to be walked over to the tourist drug cartel of Mexico and nothing happens. How you can lie under oath many times, how you did not mishandle classified information. You mishandle classified information. You let other people mishandle classified information. And then the FBI fi files phony Pfizer warrants to get a, 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 a phony uh, search to monitor. And they was unmasking folks and nobody goes to jail. Not one single person has been indicted for all the corruption they have done. Michael Sussman, who lied under oath, lied to the FBI, he got let off scot-free. So I ask you, is that your definition of justice? Do you even recognize what justice is? Are you that blind? Are you that reprobate that you can't even identify right and wrong? How is it possible that any person listening to the evidence against Donald Trump and the evidence against Joe Biden can even compare the two? Which one is worse? Joe Biden was getting kickbacks and, and bribes by our, 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 our most notorious enemy, which is China. Hunter Biden, the crackhead, was catching uh, flights with Joe Biden, cutting all kind of deals with China because of his daddy. Now, one single investigation, and this is when that queer messiah, uh, so-called messiah, uh, 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 Barack Obama, was the president. All of this happened. Most of the stuff that Joe Biden did, now he did corruption before Barack Hussein Obama, but eight years of him being the vice president, he used that office to take kickbacks from, from China, kickbacks from Moscow, kickbacks from Ukraine, and not one single proper investigation. Matter of fact, we've discovered all kind of uh, classified information. They said since he has classified information, we got to get another charge on Donald Trump now, even though we just proved that China made this million dollar payment and we can't explain where the hell it came from. You're going to see more collapsing of banks. You're going to see more of America being destroyed because as long as wicked people run it, don't start whining when God sends his wrath. Don't whine because you're going to have exactly, I'm not worried. I'm a child of the king. I'm not worried. But when you decide to side with the enemies of God, and you act like you're going to ignore what is right. And when something bad happens, don't be surprised. Uh, don't act like you're shocked all of a sudden. I don't understand why something, the, the punishment that you will get is a punishment worse than what you're trying to inflict on Donald Trump. It's going to be a worse punishment. All those who side with these evil people, these people are of the devil, period. There ain't no dressing it up. Anytime somebody can ignore, we got all, we got video evidence. We got emails. We got text messages. All the data proves what Hunter Biden, Joe Biden, and the whole Biden family was doing. Not one single proper investigation. Not one single indictment. And you want me to believe that this junk made up crap that you're talking about, that he paid uh, some stripper, porn whore, whatever. You want me to believe that this is a case for a federal case for us to be <clears throat> turning this into a felony so we can make sure he stays in prison so he can't run in 2024. This is what this is about. But I'm going to tell you something. All this actually does is make people support him even more because they're going to say, why is this such a big deal when you're saying people that says Bill Clinton got a blowjob in the White House? What's the big deal? Did anybody die? OK, he paid uh, Stormy Daniels. Did anybody die? But this is what dictators do. This is what a corrupt government does when they cannot control the narrative. They start locking up innocent people, trying to destroy lives because they can't control the narrative. But don't be not deceived. I just got a glimpse of heaven. God's still on the throne, by the way, and it ain't going to end uh, well for all you who support. It ain't just the criminals who's doing it. It's all the backers who got their heads stuck up their butt, pretending like they don't see what's going on, the injustice going on, when we can tell you criminal activity after criminal. When I, If I talk to somebody and they tell me, and they keep on trying to bring up this, this trumped up charge, and you're not going to address all the evidence I got on you, but I'm not going to talk to you no more because you're too stupid. You're a fool. You can't talk to fools because fools do not listen to reason. Case in case, we can prove what Hillary did, what Obama did, what the, all this administration did, the phony Russian collusion, everything. We can prove it all. Not one single person has been indicted. Nobody's been charged with trying to uh, overturn a duly elected president with all the Russian collusion going on. Nobody. Yet they're just, just throwing some up against the wall, hoping it stick. We'll make up a law. By any means necessary, we can't allow him back in office. 
Alvin Braggs needs to be arrested after this. He needs to be arrested, damn it. What kind of justice system do we have in this country? When people just can make up the law and break laws anytime they feel like it, and you can tell me about the law. Don't tell me about the law when people are breaking the law left and right and nothing's happening to them. Are you freaking kidding me? This is an outrage. DeSantos, I don't hear you. Your silence is deafening me. Is a ringing in my ear from DeSantos being silent. Means you've been paid and brought by the establishment. It means you're a fraud to me. That's what it means to me. The same reason I said Tucker Carlson was a fraud because he wouldn't report what Hunter Biden and the whole Biden clan was doing to after the election. Now he wants to be a badass. So the same rules applies to Ron DeSantos. I told you, I can once like you. But when the gloves come off, when I find out that you're a fraud, I'm going I know one more attack attack. I don't, I don't play no defense. Ball hog in the house. I'm gonna attack. I don't care what you say about me. Ball hog. I go for strictly attacking. I'm gonna dig up every piece of dirt on your run, Santos. I'm gonna find exactly what you're doing, because I know you got some skeletons somewhere, and I'm gonna find it. When you stay silent, when these evil people are doing some, I just I consider you as an enemy of mine. And you're an enemy of God. No matter how righteous you try to look, how self-dignity you try to look, you got a little couple of victories out of Disney. You did a couple of little good things down there, but it ain't going to work well for you, son. There's plenty of people who did a couple of good things, but when it was time to stand up, really stand up on a national level, you just in Florida. Come on, come on, let's come play with the big boys now. We talking about on a national level, DeSantos. Why you quiet, son? You was quiet on the, the so-called raid in your state that you the governor. That's a little suspicious to me, too. Guess Paul Ryan has stuck the crank in your back, too. I'm going to start to be suspicious of you, boy. Believe me, I can attack with the best of them. And I'm, I'm planning on letting the dogs lose. I don't care who likes it. Whenever you ignore facts, whenever you are silent, when evil people are doing evil, I can see you the same boat as a child molester to me. That's why I got no respect for Tucker Carlson now. None. Sean Hennedy, no respect. Nobody at Fox News is getting any respect for me. They were silent in 2020. This is why I will never respect them. I don't care what you bring up. You bring up something good, I'm going to say, that was a good thing you did. Now I'm going to bring up what you did good. Then I'm back on attacking you. Run the Santos is coming, buddy. It's a coming. You ain't going to be the president. No, no, you ain't going to be the president. I don't give a damn if Joe Biden wins again. Run the Santos for his silence will not be the president. Because not only are we going to attack, the left is going to make a, a mockery out of you once you start running on a national campaign. And if none of the Trump supporters support you, you're not winning, clown. So you might as well speak up. You might as well better stick a crank in your back. You better start singing like Aretha Franklin or something, boy. Hell is wrong with you being quiet. I don't want to hear it. I don't care what your problem is. You better speak now or forever hold your peace.